Hey guys, welcome back to Minute Watch. Kurt here, and this is the Casio CA53W-1 Digital Quartz Calculator Watch. This thing came out in the 1980s. At least I think it was the 1980s, early 80s, and uh, hasn't changed uh, at all in uh, 40 some odd years. Actually, there there was a small change. The original version says Japan right down here, and on the back of the, the case, this it says Japan instead of this one says. China. That's it. Those are the only differences. Everything else is exactly the same. And I think that's pretty cool. Uh, this is an eight digit calculator that can do basic addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. It has a one one hundred second stopwatch up to 23 hours, 59 minutes, 59.99 seconds. Auto calendar until the year 2079, which is weird. Why? Why 2079, Casio? Do you guys know something that we don't? Is the world going to end on 2079? Daily alarm, dual time, hourly chime signal, accurate to plus or minus 0.5 seconds per day, has about a five year battery life, and is just water resistant. So don't shower with it, only splashy, splashy. Uh, don't shower, don't, definitely don't swim. And, uh, I got this watch for $15 off of Amazon, super cheap. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's just a really cool little nostalgic piece. Uh, let's just get to the dimensions, shall we? By the way, we have the, uh, the DeLorean from Back to the Future here. Isn't it so cool? It makes everything dirty though, because it's dirty. But anyway, let's go to the dimensions. Uh, yeah. All right. Case, we got 34.2 millimeters. Lug to lug 43 millimeters, lug width a healthy 20 millimeters, and thickness 8 millimeters, so super thin. Let's put it on my wrist here, guys. Let's just check it out. Uh, let's check it out here. The, the strap is very pliable. It's a very soft rubber strap. It's very comfortable. I like that. So there it is. It's choking crap out of my wrist. It's a bit too tight. <laughs> uh, but there you go. It looks good. And it's very thin. It's a. Uh, I love it. Let me tell you why I love this watch, guys. Uh, in the '80s, when I grew up, this watch and others like it represented uh, pure nerddom. Nerddom. It was part of what epitomized being a nerd. <laughs> you had a calculator watch, broken glasses with tape, was either into uh, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, CB radios, comic books, uh, Japanese cartoons, which you now call anime, or all of the above, then uh, then uh, we were a nerd. We were nerds. We were made fun of. We were pushed around because we liked the things that we liked and were the way that we were. Uh, it's funny that these days, though, calculator watches are cool. <laughs> uh, the most influential people of our time wear messed up glasses. D&D is hugely popular. And if you're a kid that doesn't watch anime, you're kind of shunned. You're, you're kind of shunned. If you don't watch anime, you're like, you're not like not one of the cool kids. It's weird. <laughs> also, as the intro has suggested, plus the car, Marty McFly wore this watch, this very same watch in Back to the Future, right there. There you go. See? Back to the Future. I don't know about you guys, but that was one of the best movies of all time. It made me feel so many things. It was such a great adventure and has probably... No, definitely inspired so many kids of that era to do more than they were programmed by their parents <clears throat> and their school to do. These kids went on to becoming scientists, physicists, rock stars, actors. And speaking of actors, uh, Sean Astin, uh, an 80s kid actor, went on to wear this very same watch in the movie Encino Man. There you go. See? So tell me that wasn't because of Back to the Future. Okay? And Oh, by the way, step forward a little bit. Walter White also wore this very same watch in Breaking Bad. So, so we got, uh, uh, come on, we got, we, come on, we got focus, we got focus. I'm sure there are many other, uh, TVs and movies, TV shows and movies that have had this watch in it. If you know of them, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. And, uh, yeah, so because of my acquirement of the first, uh, Cassie, retro Casio watch in my collection, the W800, and then they are uh, all these lovely pieces. I just love them. I just love them so much. Um, but, excuse me. Because of the the requirement of all these retro Casios, I, I have been on a retro journey of collecting them. <laughs> they make me quite nostalgic. Uh, when I wear this and all these other ones, 
I'm not caring what other people think. I'm not worried about the shiny. I'm not trying to impress anyone. What I'm doing is vicariously enjoying my own youth through objects of remembrance. And I think that's awesome. Don't forget your youth, guys. Uh, don't forget to play and to wonder. It's, it's not who you were. Uh, it is, for the most part, who you are. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, a real short review. Nothing really, really uh, crazy about this watch. It's mostly a piece of nostalgia and to have a bit of history on your wrist. And if you're, if you're a younger person, you can have a piece of, uh, of, uh, 80s nostalgia on your wrist. It's pretty cool. It does function. And, uh, uh, you know, I think it's, I think all these, all these 80s, uh, retro watches are pretty cool. I'm gonna put all of these in the links below if you wanna check them out. We got the, the AE, uh, 1200. Is this the 1200? The AE 1200. Super awesome rad watch. The AE, the W800 with the lovely green, green light there green light can you see it the green light there you go green light at the AE 1300 with the, with the absolutely useless uh, sub dials there <laughs> and of course the CA 53 calculator watch so yeah oh Uncle Jamie what's up hey uh so you can calculate stuff yep can it calculate peanut let's see Let's just try to calculate. Okay, let's turn on the calculator here. Let's calculate, calculate peanut. All right, let's see. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. Plus one equals. Yep. Yeah, that's about right. Right? Yeah, that's that's exactly right. Yep. Anything else? Have you seen Ted? No, I haven't seen Ted. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, super short review. That's uh, that's my review of this lovely calculator watch. Not a whole lot to say about it. It's just really cool. Um, any of these watches right now would be great stocking stuffers for the holiday season. Uh, they're they're super affordable, really good stocking stuffers uh, for yourself, especially. Uh, get them for yourself, guys. Don't don't even trip. It's not even. The stuff that you have to worry about. So they're so low cost. Just get them all. <laughs> all right, that's my review. Thanks for watching.